All right, welcome back. So I'm gonna con continue with a couple more Taylor series problems today. Um, really just one long form FRQ. Mm -hmm. So objectives, we're going back over our Taylor basic series. So we'll be creating Taylor series approximations for functions and then using them to estimate integrals. So before we start, um, here's all of our basic uh, Maclaurin series again that we've learned so far. Um, We're going to be working with this middle one here today. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, the reason why we memorize these basic series is because we can manipulate them. So if we change the input, then we can change the input for all of these um, outputs. We could also multiply by a constant or divide by a constant, um, or even combine two of these if we wanted to to combine the terms. So for instance, um, if I take this e to the x, um, I can multiply every term by 100, and that would um, factor all the way through. I could change my input, so from x to maybe um, 1 over x, and that would replace x with 1 over x for all of these outputs. Okay, any questions on how to use the basic series? Mm, nope. Okay, cool. Um, if I wanted to rewrite this e to the x, that my n was starting at 1 instead of starting at 0, then what would my series be? It should be n, n minus 1. Okay. okay, so everything stays the same except this will be n minus 1. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Then let's take a look. So we've got our function given by 6 e to the negative x over 3 for all x's. I want to find the first four non-zero terms and then a general term for the series. What do I have to do first? Mm. So, but if we know if to the x power generator formula we can just um, change x to minus x over 3 and then multiply by 6 for or from general term, right? Right, so what's our general term for e to the x? Um, was, um, I forgot. Okay, I'm gonna jump wait, in. wait. It was n minus one. No, 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 no. X to the two m two times n minus one over n minus one factorial. Uh, really close. So this is just x to the n minus one over n minus one factorial. N minus one. Oh, not square. Okay. So. X is changed to minus X over 3. Uh, from what to what first? Oh, 1 to infinity. Okay. Okay, um, so then you said you wanted to change your input first. So this will be E to the mm. what power? E to the... Ma minus X to the... X over 3. Okay, e to, I'm going to read that last line. e to the negative x over 3 mm -hmm. um, should be equal to the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of... We'll change our input. Mm -hmm. So... Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, and then what else do we need to do? And then multiply by 6 from... Oops. We can write 6 in front of sigma. Right. Minus 1, not factorial. My bad. Okay, so I'm going to multiply by 6. Yay. Okay. Um, and then we'll need to start writing a couple of these terms out. 
Um, so every time that we do this, um, I'm going to increase this x by 1. Um, so I'm going to start out with if n is 1. 1. Plus, oh wait, it's minus x over 3. Mm -hmm. Isn't it x over 3? And then plus um, x squared over 9. And then we, yeah, 3 times um, if we plug in 2, then it's 1. No, we plug in 3, so it's 2 factorial. Okay, do you see the pattern yet? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so what's the last term be? Next term is minus x cubed divided by 3 cubed times 2 factorial. Okay. No, three, 3 factorial, isn't it? Oop. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so then we need a general series for what we've just created. So, leave x th the same. Okay, and x n minus first power divided by 3 times n minus 1 3 to the n minus 1 power uh, times n minus 1 power n minus 1 factorial okay that's good um, so we've got four terms and a general series yee okay let's see if we match so we had Oop. we're missing something Times six. Times six. Okay. Times six. And I'm going to have to factor that back in. So this is one times six. Six times six times six. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and sympathize over here, too. Mm hmm. Okay, so this is 6. What will this uh, second term simplify to? Mm, 6, no, 2x. Plus, so that's 6 divided by, what is it, 9 times 2? One over three. Okay. Minus twenty seven times twenty twenty seven times six. Um that's one sixty two. And then six divided by one sixty two is Twenty-seven. Okay, so this uh, six and three factorial are the same, so that would just leave us with three cubed at bottom. Oh. Okay. Cool. Okay. So uh, now let's check. Um, six minus two x plus x squared over three minus x cubed over twenty-seven. 
Okay, we look good on signs. I think we're set. Okay, any mm -hmm. questions on what we did for A? No. Okay, let's give B a shot. Um, so, tell you what, I'm going to copy our last line really quick then. From the previous problem. Okay, so with our last line from the previous problem for part B, um, I want to be able to find the integral of this um, from 0 to x. So for mm. first four terms and then a general term. So we integrate it. Okay, so if I integrate this, what's going to happen? That's fix x minus x squared. No, I mean minus 2 over 3. In, uh, and then, no, never mind. Oh, and then just plus 3 squared. Sorry, plus? 3 cubed. Wait, yeah, it is. No? Uh, no, 3 cube over 27. No, 9, 9. <laughs> okay, what should this term be? I'm sorry. <laughs> x cubed. x cubed over... 9. Minus x fourth. Divided by 27 times 4. That's one way. Yup. Okay, let me do the general term. So, 6 times. No, wait. How can you find general term? So that's x times because we have x always mm, I don't know pattern for bottom part uh, let's worry about the top part first then so um, this is x to what power n power uh, if we're gonna integrate though what will it become Isn't it n? Because we it's one, two, three, four. Okay, so I copied this one from the key where this was starting at zero. Originally. Oh, n plus one. So this is n plus one over n plus one factorial. Right. Times. 3 to the n, n plus 1, hopefully. Uh, I believe this will just stay at 3 to the n. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so, you Yeah, I've just added 1 to the power, divided by the new power, and everything else has stayed the same, because that was the constant. Okay. Um, if we did want to change this back to um, starting at n equals 1 instead, so then all of these would be plus one um, from where they are right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is equal to the integral of 6e to the minus x over 3. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm going to copy this over again. I was going to copy this over, but I just realized we aren't alternating yet either.
Okay. Um, so we've got this new function h, where h of x is uh, k f prime a x, where a and k are constants. Um, and they gave us the formula down here. Um, does this look familiar at all? Mm-hmm. What is this? That's just x. No, 1 over x minus 1 function. Um, so this is one of our basic series. Um, which basic series is this? Sine? Uh, not sine. Cosine? Uh, no. Nope. Isn't it just x? x to the nth power? Uh, nope. Oh. <laughs> 1 over x. Okay, so this is actually e to the x. Oh! Okay, so if h of x is e to the x. Mm hmm. Um, and our function is here. Um, so, okay, f prime ax. Um, then we can say if our f of x is 6e to the negative x over 3 and h of x is e to the x. Um, then replacing this one, um, e to the x should be equal to some value k times the derivative of ax. Mm -hmm. K E We Oh, we, we integrate Okay, so this would be K E to the negative A X over 3 Mm-hmm Um What can I do now? So, oh, and then we just find it. Okay. So k is one. And then a is minus three. I'm missing something. Hold on. I don't think my derivative is right. I think I just used my f of x instead of f prime. Okay, I need to go back a step. Um, okay, if this is f of x, what is f prime x? Minus 2 e to the x minus first. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Sorry about that, my bad. So this is negative 2k e to the negative x over 3. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I can solve for uh, k and a. Um, okay, the reason why I'm doing that is because we're plugging a into our derivative, um, not into the original function before we derived, so I don't have another a with chain rule. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need to solve for a and solve for k. What can I do? So k should be minus 1 over 2. Okay, negative 2k has to be equal to 1, so k is... Ah. Not sure what I just did. <laughs> Subtitles. Okay, so k is... 
negative 1 over 2. Um, and then how can I solve for A? A is minus 3. A must be negative 3, okay. Um, so negative A over 3 equals 1. And A is negative 3. Okay. Um, so we'll check really quick. K was negative 1 half. A was negative 3. Uh, okay, so we're the first one. We, we got it. Do have our derivative right, and we've got our values right. Okay, we're cool. Um, any questions on anything we did today? No. All right, so um, our homework from last time is two parts. We've got the second part this time. Mm -hmm. um, last time you did four through six from 2009. Um, so this time is <coughs> 1 through 3 for 2009. Um, for yep. that year, the first three questions um, were the with calculator section. So that means you can use a calculator for all of the homework this time around. Um, mm -hmm. But I do want you to complete all three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> oh, wait. First three? Uh, first three this time, so one through three from okay. 2009.